this was an unfolding catastrophe. The numbers of new cases and deaths are still rising. Ebola is the world's most dangerous virus. The disease is out of control in West Africa. Action was needed immediately. Altogether, the family member that I lose, 17. God has called us to care for the dying, to care for those that are suffering. We can't say we're Samaritan's Purse and not help. I was confident that what we were doing was the right thing to do. I don't think I was scared yet. I should have been very scared. As the epidemic escalated, we were just desperately trying to stay one step ahead. My phone rang and Ken Isaacs said, one of our doctors, Kent Brantley, has Ebola. David looked at me and he said, you too have Ebola. And then Barbara was diagnosed with Ebola. There was a high likelihood her team members were gonna die. I don't know how to describe how afraid we were. But we still went in hour after hour taking care of the Liberians and taking care of Ken and Nancy. We're there to save life. We're there in your name. Why? Despite the fact that things were out of control, we knew that God was in control. My greatest fear is that I would have to raise my kids alone. I felt broken. Who was going to take care of my children? God puts you in places and supplies the strength to deal with. If they're on our team, they are our blood. No matter what it took, let's get them out. Time is ticking. Jesus Christ didn't run. We run to the fire. We don't run away from it. <laughs>